Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today I'm going to be making a tin can waveguide antenna, also known as a cantenna. Uh, you're going to need a couple of things to do this, um, and I'll show you what I got. You need one USB wireless adapter. This particular one is a Linksys N600 dual band N adapter. Awesome. Obviously, tin can. This particular can is about four inches in diameter and it's from chock full of nuts coffee. And you'll need a cable. Um, this is a cable that was on a computer that you know where you plug in a USB card and I just ripped it out and found a proper USB cable and joined them together. Very simple. Don't need to worry about ground. Um, and that's it. So very simple setup so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this card and I'm gonna put it on my computer just the way it is and show you the reception with that and then I'll come back and I'll show you with the can okay I got the card all plugged in see the little blue light that tells me that it's plugged in and it's on so let me come up here I don't know if my battery's gonna make it and there's a little program it's called NSSID -er. So we're going to run this, and we're going to let this run for a minute, I'll come back in a second. Alright, well, I let it run for about five minutes, and as you can see, it only picked up like five access points, so it's an average of one a minute, okay? So now I'm going to bring this down, and I'm going to bring it back up with my new setup, be right back. Alright, well I'm back and I got it all set up now, so let me show you what I got. See my little card is inside the can. Uh, see where the Cisco is? Right above that, in between the two bridge things, is where the antennas are. So those are supposed to be, for my measurements, 1.12 inches from the bottom of where you put it in the can. Uh, so that's what I got. So here's the USB adapter hooked into the bottom. We'll go over here and it's plugged into my computer, right? Alright, so I'm going to fire up NSSID again. Bring this up. And okay, so I found the first five pretty much immediately, right? So now I'm going to pick this up. And this is the only thing. Hold on, got my wires mixed up. As you can see, now this is directional so it guides the wave and I'm receiving the waves coming from the access points so you can already see within like 30 seconds I've already doubled the output of my card and I'm only pointing in one direction I haven't even moved it yet um, so let me move it around a little bit let me see if I can get anything anything else Okay, there you go, there's another one. Now it might not be exactly in the can right right now just for the purpose of this video, but you can already see an immediate increase in the range and how much it picks up. Alright, hold on. One second. Alright, sorry, I had to switch hands. Cable's hooked up to my phone and I'm charging it. So Basically, I just move it around, and that's awesome. For a five-hour coffee, not even five-hour coffee can, and cables that I already had, and honestly, about 20 minutes of research, and look what you get. I am definitely going to play around with different size cans because this one seems to be working pretty good. Uh, I'm also thinking about extending this can so it's actually even longer so it can catch more of the wave because um, I think it's a little short but as you can see it's doing pretty good. Uh, well as you can see from this simple little setup here I got a tin can, a USB card and an adapter to go to my computer and a little bit of math and BAM 
you have many, 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 many access points around you. So, this has awesome line of sight applications, like, you know, trying to go, you know, in the shed in the back, or, you know, you want to shoot it across to your neighbor's house or whatever, but this is uh, definitely a, a good project. Uh, well, I hope you liked it, and make one of your own. It's cheap, and it's fun. Later.